In this video, I'm gonna give you three ways that you can make more money donating plasma. So I've been donating plasma for a really long time and I found a couple cool tricks that I feel like have really helped me to make as much money as possible um, from that kind of uncomfortable but life-saving process. And so I wanted to share them with you. And if you like videos like this real quick, I would invite you to subscribe because I have quite a few videos on this topic um, of donating plasma in general, and I do plan on making more in the future. But without further ado, the first way that you can make a lot more money donating plasma, and I would say this is probably the best way, is to take advantage of the new donor bonuses that these plasma centers are giving out now, and then switching centers. So let me explain this. It might seem obvious, but there's actually um, a few things that you should be aware of. So first off, most plasma centers right now are offering new donors um, a really considerable bonus of about $1,000 in the first month of donating. So um, most months you can donate eight to 10 times. And I think in the first eight donations is usually how they have it set up, you can make up to $1,000. So that's over $100 per donation for those first couple donations. And then it goes back down to the normal amount, which is like half that um, per month, at least in my area. So that's really, really good. Um, so what I've done, I've been to Griffles Biomat, BioLife and CSLs where I've been going recently. Um, I don't know that CSL does this, but for Griffles Biomat and BioLife, I talked to the phlebotomist there and they said that you actually can re-qualify for a new donor bonus if you've been gone for about six months. So you can use this to your advantage. Um, this, I guess this is primarily for people who live in a more populated area and who have access to several different donation centers, you know, within a 30 mile radius or however, you're will however far you're willing to travel. So for me, I live in Utah, I live in a college town, there's a lot of people who want to donate plasma. A lot of students that need extra money, and so there's a lot of plasma centers available. So let's say I start at Griffles Biomat, and I take advantage of the bonus, I get $1,000 for that first month of donating. Right when I get that last um, bit of that bonus from that last donation um, during the promotion, I should stop donating mark on my calendar, when's the last time I donated? And it actually would be good to check, um, it's, it's either six months from the last time you donated or six months from when they initially took a sample of your blood in your, one of your first donations. Um, not exactly sure on that, but anyway, you, you'll definitely be safe if you go six months after that last donation. You could come back and be a new donor for their new donor bonus again. Um, so you might be thinking, okay, well, but if I'm not donating for six months, I could be making more money if I just kept donating regularly. That's true, except you could go to a different plasma center if one's available. So what I did, went to Griffles Biomat, got their new donor bonus, then marked on my calendar the last time I donated. And then I went to BioLife, got their new donor bonus, stopped, marked on my calendar the last time I donated, and then I've been going to CSL plasma because as you may have seen one of my um or i think my previous video they seem to pay the best and so i've been going there um that is the best tip that i can give you i think because they'll sign you up you, you don't even have to wait really um any longer than you would normally wait between donations to switch to a new center it's usually like at the most oh well we just don't want you to have donated for a week you know, before coming to this new center and transferring over, but they they want donors. And so they'll get you signed up, they'll get you into that um, new donor bonus program. And then if you wait, at least for Griffles and BioLife, I don't know about other plasma centers, but you can requalify for those bonuses in six months. So tip number one. Tip number two is to take advantage of unique donor programs that plasma centers might have. I don't know all of the different programs that are available, but there are two that stick out in my mind. The first one is, is kind of simple. It's not too much to get excited about, but it's the tetanus program. So if you recently got a tetanus shot, um, 
I, I don't know exactly how it works because I haven't done it myself, but if you recently got a tetanus shot and your plasma center offers this program, you'll get an extra 25 bucks for the, your next donation. So it's definitely worth bringing up or asking about if you're gonna get a tetanus shot. So that's just a small one. The second one is called the Anti-D program. So I'm gonna actually make a video dedicated to this because I'm gonna try this out and tell you my experiences. But the Anti-D donor program is for donors who have negative blood or RH negative blood. Um, so if you don't know much about blood types, you've probably heard of a, a blood types, B blood types, AB or O blood types, and then they each have an RH factor, which is either positive or negative. So you've probably heard, oh, my blood type is B positive. Well, mine's A negative. Um, I try not to be a negative person. <laughs> anyway, so with if you have negative blood, which is rare, so hopefully you do, if you don't, um, you can't take advantage of this program, but if you do, keep listening. Um, there are some centers that have an anti-D program, which is where they will give you whole blood immunizations to help you build an anti-D antibody. And it's something that only RH negative people can produce. But when you start producing that antibody, um, your plasma can be used to make Rogam which is a life-saving medication for, for infants. So because that's a rarer, um, less common thing that's harder to, I guess, produce because there's not as many donors that can do that, they're gonna pay you more, um, maybe even double per donation. So I know Griffles Biomat in my area does the anti-D program. And so normally it's like, starts at 25 and then each consecutive donation in that month, you get an extra $5. So. 25, 30, 35, 40. Um, with the anti-D program, each time you go in to either get an immunization or to donate or to be tested for the antibodies, you're getting like a hundred bucks every time. So that's really good. Um, for those of you that took advantage of the COVID program, if you had COVID and then got the antibodies, you know what that's like, getting a hundred dollars each donation for your plasma. So um, what I have heard, and again, I'll make a video dedicated solely to the anti-D program, but what I have heard is that it might be a slower process at first um, because you you can't just immediately start donating twice a week like you could normally um, because they do need to give you those immunizations and then check to see if you're forming the antibodies. And based on how fast your body is producing the antibodies, that largely determines how often you can donate. So um, I guess you'd have to, it, it's going to vary person to person. You'd have to weigh if it's worth it based on your frequency of donating. I guess it's nice to take a break and get paid just as much to donate half as often, but I guess it's up to you. Third and final way that I would recommend to make more money donating plasma is to be consistent, is to be regular. So one thing to keep in mind is that places like Griffles, actually every plasma center I've been to, Griffles, BioLife, CSL, they have rewards for frequent donors. So. For instance, Griffles, it several different times would say, okay, on your fourth donation this month, we're gonna give you a $20 bonus. Or if you donate nine times this month, you get a $50 bonus. So taking advantage of that is really, really great. BioLife, they often give out coupons or they have like a platinum program where if you've donated enough consecutively or like twice a week enough times, then your pay scale goes up. Um, CSL is similar. It's not as dramatic of a pay scale difference like BioLife is. They generally pay more than BioLife, at least in my area. Um, but if you donate, let's say you've donated more than five times in the past 35 days, instead of getting like $50 per donation, you'll get 60 per donation. So that's really, really good. And then on top of that, CSL has a point system where every time you donate, you get points and eventually those points rack up and you can redeem them for additional um, money bonuses. So that's a pretty awesome thing to take advantage of. And so really it just comes down to being consistent, asking the phlebotomists what kind of promotions or um, coupons they might offer. Sometimes you, you know, you get something just for asking. I know that CSL had like a $10 coupon that was just extra at one point. So, um, that's a good way to make some extra money donating plasma. 
those are my three tips. Those are the three things that I have found to work and help a lot. Um, donating plasma is really important. It's a good way to make some extra money in not a super long period of time. It can be taxing, it can be tiring, it's not the most comfortable process, but at the end of the day, it helps other people a lot and it helps you take care of some of your financial needs. So definitely a good idea if you've been considering it. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you maybe learned something new. Um, if you have comments in the comment section below, I try to respond or at least read every single comment. So I uh, definitely invite you to write me something down there and leave a like on the video, subscribe, share it, whatever you want to do. But I will have more videos like this in the future. So we'll see you next time.